In the worldwide war against crime, there are men and women trained to sink their own identity in the international underworld. They work alone, in danger and in shadow, unrecognized by friend and enemy alike. They are the operators of the almost legendary Ghost Squad. Start checking immediately. Mm -hmm. Good day to you. Winters, that was Washington on the line, with a new theory to account for this wave of bank robberies in Western Europe. Would you go down to Scotland Yard and tell them to send me the file on Fred Rice? Very good, sir, Andrew. Oh, there it is, Winters. Seven big jobs in one year, all done by the same gang, and this time they've added murder to armed robbery. Are we sure it's the same gang, sir? It's a fair guess. The pattern's always similar. Planned and carried through like a military operation. Just like Fred Rice. That's a name I don't know. Who's he? The best safe breaker and cat burglar on record. One of my old boys. You did say your boys? Certainly. He was in my special operations squad during the war. He picked some of the most vital locks in Europe and took some of the best microfilm. What happened to him? Well, he started taking our pictures to the enemy. At least we think that he did. By the time he disappeared, he was wanted on a very special list of war criminals. He's been running ever since the war? It's the old, old story, Winters. Wait long enough and they make a mistake. Fred Rice is starting to give himself away by his own methods. Where is he now? I don't know, but I intend to find out. Will you pass it over to Craig? He might get a lead on him through his brother. If it's Dad you want, you'd better wait. He's due back any minute now. Mother's just gone to the movies. Thank you. Just the three of you, are there? Mm, just the three of us. I'll bet you've got an uncle, haven't you? Have you seen him lately? We don't talk about that. I bet you haven't got any records you want to trade. I'm afraid I don't. I used to have a collection, though. I've got lots. Almost 500. Oh, Dad, this is Mr. Finsborough. He's been waiting to see you. 
Hello? How do you do, Mr. Rice? I'm Finsborough of Finsborough and Feltham, the international law firm. You appear to be a beneficiary under a will left by a client of ours. Not a fortune, I'm afraid. That's a bit of luck. Who was it? Uh, uh, Mr. Frederick Rice. Here we are. Oh, uh, I'm not Fred Rice. I'm Bert Rice. Fred's my brother. Oh, I am sorry. You see, this was the only address we could trace. Do you know where we can locate your brother, Mr. Rice? I don't know. Can't help. He vanished about ten years ago. We haven't heard a word from him since. I see. Well, I'm sorry to have troubled you. But if you do hear from him, you'll let us know, won't you? Because, you see, until we find him, there's nothing we can do. Yes, uh, oh, yes, uh, I'll let you know. You've been very kind. I'm sorry there aren't any records I could trade. I like foreign ones. French, perhaps? No, I've got lots of French. I'll see what I can find. Good night, sir. Thank you very much. It's all right. I'll find my way out. I had a word with the postman, and he said he delivered quite a few packages with French stamps. Which means that Fred Rice is not only in France, but that he could have been there for some time. All right. The problem is, where's he going to next, and how do we find him? The route he's followed doesn't make much sense, does it? Well, the job makes sense. It was organized to the last detail with a generator lorry and a crane. I don't doubt he planned the job, sir. But I doubt he planned the route. It's too haphazard. Well, what do you think they're doing? The Tour de France on bicycles, knocking off banks as they come to them? I don't know, sir. Well, you'd better find out, hadn't you? I want Fred Rice, if it is Fred Rice, and I intend to get him. Right? Right, sir, Andrew. list of agents that book circus tours and put me onto the largest one. Urgent. I've got it. Really? Just as I was leaving, down the street, a bunch of buskers playing a circus tune. The gang could be working for a small circus. Really? Well, it all fits in, the equipment they use. They could be on a circus tour. Perfect cover for a gang. What an innocent way to cross a frontier. That's very ingenious, Craig. The most interesting theory. Yes, hello. What name did you say? It's all right, put him through. Well, I suggest that you contact uh, one of the agencies in Paris who book circus tours and see if you can trace a circus that, that has covered a route of that sort. Just what I had in mind, sir. Well, you might as well start with Monsieur Morac. He's the largest agent in France. Right. Hello. Hello, Morac here. What can I do for you? The name's Morac. Yeah, it's up near Belgium on the 14th of June. Thank you. You getting anywhere? Fine, Monsieur Morac. Au revoir. The route doesn't quite coincide with the places robbed. Several times they've gone a bit out of their way. But the dates coincide. All the way. The circus played here, there was a robbery here. Here? You see the pattern? It's quite simple. Now we're getting somewhere at last. And where does the circus go to next? Up here into Belgium. Right in here. Oh, well, that's where you're going, Craig. Into Belgium. Now get into that circus and bring back Fred Rice. Wasn't this a job of the local police, sir? Their job is to take care of the robberies. Yours is to catch up on a wanted war criminal. If it's the same man... Monsieur? Maybe you can help me. I'm trying to catch up with the circus. The circus shock. They're due to cross into Belgium today. Not more than an hour ago, monsieur. I will give you the route. Mademoiselle? Come, mademoiselle, what is the matter? It's... Uh, I'd like to report something. You see... <laughs>
do I see to get a job around here? What sort of a job? I'm not particular. You a circus man? Sure. You could try the boss. You may be in his truck over there. Thanks. What can I do for you? I'm uh, looking for the boss. He's, uh, he's in his tent. His act starts in a few minutes. Where's his tent? Just look for Samson. Are you Mrs. Samson? <laughs> of course not. I'm his daughter. Do you think your father might have a job for me? I shouldn't think so. Are you a circus man? Sure. You ought to know. We don't have much time for strangers. What was she doing at that frontier post? How do I know? It's your job to find out. How do you know she wasn't going to rat on us? On her own father? Don't be so stupid. If she hadn't seen my hammock, she might have talked. You're imagining things. I tell you, the girl's all right. She'd better be. tackle on the stage. I'm going to have a look at the tank. There was a leak last night. starts in a few minutes. Samson will be in danger of drowning before your very eyes. There's no need for me to tell you how long a man can survive underwater. One minute. Perhaps even two. Ladies and gentlemen, Samson is now chained. The key I place before you here on this table. There is no escape. Yet Samson is the greatest escapologist since Houdini. So one of the most dangerous feats ever performed before an audience is about to begin. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I must ask for complete silence during the performance. How long can a man live underwater? You are about to see a race against time with life as a prize.
He must be a fish. Truck. What happened? Oh, we had a bit of trouble. What do you mean? With one of the locks. You fool. You might have killed him. No, didn't you want him taught a lesson? I don't want him killed. At least not yet. Not while he's useful. How's Samson? He's going to be all right. Thank you. Thank you very much for what you did. Nothing. Crazy name for a strong man, Samson. Is it real? <laughs> Is anything real, a circus? No, I guess not. Are you still looking for that job? Sure. He'll give you one. I'll see to that. I'll stick around. for something? Yes, I'm looking for something. For a lock. I wanted to find out what your man Simon had done to it. And what did you find? Nothing. It's gone. What was the idea? I don't know. Maybe he wanted to teach you a lesson? To show you what would really happen if that girl of yours went to the police? You keep my daughter out of this, understand? Gladly. And do you make sure she keeps out of it herself? Dad? 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 to be in bed. Just checking up. What happened? I don't know. I suppose it was some sort of accident. Perhaps some dirt got into one of the locks. And maybe it didn't. Dad, that wasn't an accident and you know it. Listen, my dear, they wouldn't touch me. What good would they be without me? They'd do all right. You've taught them plenty. Hello there. Oh, um, Dad, this is the man I told you about. Is it? Come in, young fella. I'll see you later. I don't remember much what happened, but I suppose I owe you a lot for last night. Don't give it a thought. How are you feeling? Fine. What's your name? Craig. Nick Craig. Is there anything I can do for you, Craig? There is. I'm broke. Broke? I see. Well, now, um, what would you say my life was worth? 200 francs? I don't want a handout. I want a job. I hear you're part owner of the circus. I thought possibly. Here's 500. Now take my advice and keep away from circuses. No thanks. 
If your life is only worth money, I guess I should have left you in the tank. Look, Craig, <laughs> this is a small circus, and everyone here belongs to one of the families. We don't work with strangers. The Joker who fixed your lock last night, I suppose he's your brother? He's what we call a Sudi. We picked up a bunch of them in the south some years ago. They do the heavy work. Don't apologize. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Craig! Yeah? All right, boy. What can you do? Well, I can ride the wall. I don't need practice. Very well. If you want it that way, you're hired. Come and see me later. Fine. Fine, fine. Pauline, I want you to take on a new man. Well, what's the idea? Oh, nothing. Just a young man that wants a job. He did me a very good turn last night. Well, can he ride? He says he can. It's your circus. You don't look very pleased. I don't like strangers. Landed a job with a circus, Sir Andrew. Oh, good for him. And he wants to know if Fred Rice ever had an operation to remove tattoo marks. Anything about that on the records? No, nothing. Might be on the files of my old special branch at Chef. Yes, I got those papers from Paris this afternoon, Sir Andrew. Oh, good. Any mention of tattoo marks? No, but they gave his hospital record, which I followed up. Yes, and then? He escaped to France before the war and had just such an operation in Paris. He didn't want the mark to give him away. Excellent. What did you do then? Traced the surgeon, got a description of the mark, and sent it to Craig. Good girl, Winters. Good girl. You know, you're improving. Thank you, Sir Andrew. Camp. You want to see me? Oh, yes. Come in. I thought you could use a loan before payday. Here's that 500 we were talking about. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Hey, look at that. Your tattoo mark's gone. What do you mean, lad? What tattoo mark? Oh, we fished you out of the tank. You had a mark right along there. Now it's gone. You're confusing me with someone else. I never had a tattoo mark in my life. Wait a minute. When a mark's been removed, it shows up again under conditions of extreme cold. That's what happened. You were half dead in that water. <laughs> when we pulled you out of the tank, it showed up. You're imagining things. I tell you, I never had a mark in my life. Well, you must have forgotten it. I remember distinctly. It was a number. 1087. 1087. If I had my boy, it was years ago. Belongs to a different world. Understand? Belongs to a world where they used to brand people. Some of them, maybe like myself, managed to escape. But you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. It was before your time. I understand, all right. I guess in some ways it helps to explain you. Now, just you remember, if you want to work with a circus, you keep your ideas to yourself and you keep your mouth shut. I tell you, I never had a mark on me, and I mean it. Get me? You're the boss, boss. Oh, thanks for the loan. Well, if you keep this up, you'll be riding the cage next week. A quick way of getting nowhere fast, isn't it? If that road is stuck, you get somewhere fast, all right. <laughs> ha ha. Very funny. Hello. How are you doing? Fine. Thanks. Uh, are you going to ride the wall of death? Well, that's the idea. I was just sort of taking a refresher course. Isn't it very dangerous? Well, you've just got to keep your head, that's all. <laughs> you must be very brave. Well, in my job, you just don't think of those sort of things. Oh, I'll watch you every night. Now, promise me you'll be careful. I will indeed. Yes.
tall one. What's he doing in the circus? I'm giving him a job. Any objections? Is he safe? Why shouldn't he be? How was the show? Very good. Nearly a full house. Good. That's what I like to hear. Dad? Yes? Dad, there's something I haven't told you. Oh? Huh? What's that? There wasn't an accident last night. And I'll tell you why. I went to the Frontier Police yesterday. I know you did. Mocha told me. Yes. Mohammed followed you there. You saw him, panicked and beat it. You were going to give them away, weren't you? Yes. And give me away? No. No, of course not. I, I was going to warn you in time. I just lost my nerve and ran. So, there's no harm done. Rita, my dear, keep out of this. It's none of your business. What happened to you last night is supposed to pull me back in line. That's the idea, isn't it? That just about explains it. What else do you expect? You know the way they work? Are you just going to take it, Dad? Rita, I don't like having these men around our necks any more than you do. Dad, don't lie to me. I see you go off on these raids. You're like a young man again. You love it. What do you mean, love it? Do you think I like being blackmailed with this bunch of hoodlums? No, but you like the excitement. What's their hold on you, Dad? There's something I can't talk about. It belongs to the past. Before you were born. What is it? Why can't you tell them we're through? <laughs> what do you think would happen if I did? Could you still ride that trapeze, knowing that bunch were after you? Mother once told me the one thing she loved about you was your courage. I wonder what happened to it. Come on. Let's go and count the tape.
like a motorbike. No, someone on the road. Let's turn in. Hey, Pauline, look at the mud on these tires. Now, how did that get there? There's no mud in this place. It hasn't rained for months. Did anyone take a bike out last night? Not that I know of. Why should they? You're a new man. Does he ride this one? Could be. I'll read the rules to that one. If he wants to chase girls on my machines, he can look near a home. Wait a minute. There was mud on the road to the factory last night. Yes, somebody heard a bike when we got back. Yes, sir, they did. Do you think he tailed us? What else at that time of the morning? Good morning, Craig. Hi. Well, you're not going to practice in those clothes, are you? I was going into town. We were to show this afternoon, and I want you out front. Or do you think you're so good you don't need to practice? No, I could use a practice. Well, then get with it, boy. Hmm? <laughs> Here, what are you trying to say? Simply this. You brought the man in, you get rid of him. Just a minute. Are you suggesting... I that am. I... You must be out of your mind. Would it be the first man you've killed? No. But that was war. But isn't this war? Us against the rest of them? I won't touch him. You do as you like. I'd like you to get rid of him. I'll see what I can work out. How's the leg? Painful. You fool. Why couldn't you mind your own business? Why did you have to go and spy on them? Just curious. Curious? <laughs> you were going to shop us all, weren't you? Who are you? What do you think, Fred? How do I know? Some stupid kid that comes in off the road, you do me a good turn and look what happens. Why do you work for them? That's my business. Maybe I like it. Maybe I'm frightened. You? Frightened? Frightened of what? What they might do to me. Or to... I get it. You work for Moker because if you didn't, your daughter might not be so healthy. But there's no might about it. And if you had a daughter, you wouldn't argue either. So you work for them as a safe cracker. How did they find out about your special talent? What do you mean? I'll skip it. I'm in no shape to argue. But it must seem just like the war all over again. This is war in its way. Yeah, and I'll bet you enjoy it. Enjoy it? <laughs> You're crazy. Do you think I get a kick out of this? Well, don't you? Is he all right? He needs to rest. He's cracked his ankle. Easy, honey. Dad, have you called the doctor? Listen, Mocha's looking after him. There's nothing we can do about it. Now, get along. He's in pain. Rita, get this straight. He was only here for the profit. Understand? He was going to shop us all. Now, get along. 
I'm going to fix it up. You're not going to fix anything. Dad, get along. please, don't get please. Along. Get along, get along. Go on, get along, get along. Dad, Dad, listen. I'm not going to tell you again. I'll just leave him alone. That man's hurt. You just can't leave him. Well, what have you done about it? I'll think of something. What are you waiting for? I told you, I'll think of something. Now, don't worry, Mocha. changed. I'm going as a town to get a doctor. They won't stop me. You can do something else for me. Yes? I want you to send a cable. Why send a cable? Don't you just want the police? In my own way, I just want the police. They're right then. What they say about you. I guess they're right. I'm almost glad. I knew it couldn't last. If he stays with these gangsters, there's only one thing can happen to him. But he couldn't help what he's done. He's been forced into it. You think that? All right. Where's the cable? Rita. Come with me. I'm going into town. I said come with me. Quiet, everyone, please. Why bring me here? Is it true you've had a row with your father? What's it to you? I don't think I can trust him now. But why? He's never crossed you. You won't in any case. Not after tonight. What do you mean? I love your father. I proved it to you. Yes. You couldn't harm him, nor could you let others harm him. Could you? No, no, I couldn't. Then why do you listen to this stranger, when in a little while you'll be free of us anyway? I don't believe you. A mere matter of a day, that's all, and you will be quite safe. One more raid tonight. Just one. And it will be all over. Are you sure? They will be on to us soon unless we stop. Very well, we stop. All right. You better have this. <laughs>
under the lorry and you're in the cage where they keep the guns. Are you going to tell them? Look, I just can't let Dad walk into this. It's their last raid. They'll be gone tomorrow. That's what Mogra says. I don't know what to do. Oh, everything's under control now. I've been looking for you everywhere. We're off now, sweetie. Dad, listen. Now, don't worry. This is easy. It's a piece of cake. I could do this with a can opener. Dad, don't go tonight. Please don't go. It's the last time, love. Now, what is all this? You've got nerves. Come on, get some sleep. Fred. Well? She's right, Fred. You'd better stay back. Mind your own business. What have they got in you, Fred? Your war record? What do you know about that? Is that what it is, Fred? Do they know you're on the wanted list and half the secret files in Western Europe? What are you getting at? What's going to happen to you, Fred, when they finally catch up with you? Not for these robberies, but for what you did 20 years ago. Do you stand a chance? I stand a chance, all right. If ever they would listen to me. You know what they say about you, Fred? They say you work both sides at once. Is it true? All right. I try to be a bit too clever, perhaps. But I never worked against my own side, and it's the truth. Then why don't you give yourself up and stop living in this nightmare? What's it to do with you? You're a cop, aren't you? Well, if I am a cop, I'm a lousy one. I started taking a personal interest in this case. I feel sorry for you. Then don't waste your time. I do what I do because I can't help it. And maybe, in a way, I like it. Do you really believe that? Do you really want your own daughter to go on living with this fear hanging over? You owe it to her to stop. You'll end up in a guillotine and she'll be an accessory. Is that what you want, Fred? No. It's not what I want. Then don't go tonight. You may mean well, but you can't change the spots on an old leopard. And as for feeling sorry, you should be feeling sorry for yourself right now. And just what does that mean? I don't know how far you can get on that ankle. But just you remember that Mocha's got a man outside. I'll deal with you when I get back. You know too much. Get it moving? Oh, what do you want me to do? Push her?
that way. Two of them. Well, Craig, I've had a confidential report from Washington. They've decided to close the file on Fred Rice. I don't understand. Why? Well, they've interrogated him at great length. He had a good many of the right answers. Well, they've decided that after all this time, there's no case to warrant prosecution. I'm glad about that. You know, I couldn't help but have a sneaking liking for him. What's going to happen to him now? Well, he'll be sent back to Belgium, where he'll have to face very serious charges. And in due course, Craig, you'll get a severe reprimand from me in writing for helping him to avoid arrest. Well, I must say that's very kind of you, Sir Andrew. Oh, I don't suppose that'll worry you. Tell me, how, how's the leg getting on? I should be out of plaster in a couple of weeks. What are you going to do with this over in the meantime? It's gone? Thanks. I'll just take it easy for a bit. I think you'd better go on your annual vacation. What can I do if I'm crippled? Really, Craig, do as I tell you. If you must hop about like a bird on one leg, you'd far better do it in your time and not mine. Right? Right. Right.